like, just just a couple of days ago, I found, like, the first ever YouTube video that I made on my old channel called Metro so, Killer. We are a go for Halloween yes. Town? Yes. Do Halloween Not Town. Atlantica? No, no. Halloween what? Town. Fuck, we have to get it over Halloween with. Halloween Town and then Neverland. Destroy it. But yeah, no. Um, I went back and saw that video, and it's just me playing Madness Interactive. <laughs> What is Madness Interactive? <laughs> it's this stupid fucking browser game. Hey man. <laughs> and I just I yeah, was just no, I, I was right. yelling and laughing like every five seconds and, and just like the most meager shit. It was amazing. <laughs> I was starting your back then. Well, oh you, you've teamed up with people with dry sense of humor, so yeah, that we is have true. to be as boring as possible. We are in the gutters. I don't well. think we're. I don't think it's dry. I don't think. Wait, I think my sense of humor is pretty dry. Pretty dry. Yeah. What What would you consider to be dry humor? Somewhat racist, relying on sexist jokes. Oh, not so dark side Phil. Yeah, <laughs> not, uh, not sexist, but like a holy like sexual. Sexual. Yes. You you Thank still you. haven't watched him, a have you? Wild nature. What? You still haven't watched him, have you? Dark side. Um, although yeah. at that same time, it also means immature too. So I don't know. That's dark side Phil. I'm still kind of I'm I'm still kind of like trying to mull over the whole Chris Chan thing. I saw you watching. <laughs> Cause that, I had to contemplate things mm -hmm. with that. He, I, I don't, I wouldn't say he's as awful as Chris Chan can be. Yeah. But, I don't yeah. know. I, I feel like I, this is probably something I shouldn't really put any attention to. What? But we, I don't think we should be bad mouthing people we don't actually do. But oh, it's, dark side it's dark feels side pretty fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's fucked up. He whacked head. off on camera. Okay. I think that was yeah. Yeah. That it, it was an accident. Was it? In that case, never See, that's, mind, that's but the please thing. don't that's bring attention thing. to that. Kind of See, thing. that's the thing. Because it's like, it's Dark Side Phil is one of those things where it's like, there's no way this can possibly be this bad and not be self-aware. But it like, might It has be. to be a joke. You mean like the guy that... Put up a video. He's kissing his sister. I, I sure. Making out with his sister. Groping oh. his sister. It's like if if in like t 10, 15 years he like comes out and says this was all like an elaborate yeah. joke. I he is be like the best. But that probably won't ever happen. I mean, it's like that fucking. You also gotta, at the same time, expect this kind of thing from the internet. Yeah. Because the world is full of so many people, and almost all of them have access to the internet. Yeah. They shouldn't. <laughs> not everybody. I was a much happier person before I had access to the like internet. Like guns, not everyone should have it. Yeah. <laughs> and now, as sad as that is to say, I kind of agree with you there. Yeah. I was a much happier person before the internet. Yeah. I'm, uh, like... It wasn't so much that, like, I was kept off the internet, it's just that, like, my mom didn't pay for it. So it's like, I wasn't forced to stay off, I just couldn't do it when I was at home. So I had limited access to the internet. Yeah. And, like, once I got actual internet, I just became, like, really reliant on it. Now, anytime I go without internet, I want to die. Well, well I mean, I mean <laughs> nowadays, so long everything is reliant tied, on internet, it so it's kind of hard not to be connected yeah. to it, because a lot of it relies... because a lot of what we have to do to survive relies on it being there. Well, I don't know about survive, but yeah, I get what you're saying. I remember not being heavy in the internet culture until I was, like, 13. Honestly? Because I didn't get a phone until then. Yeah. Yeah, same. About, kind of. And I, I was a skinny shit. I mean, yeah, I was still portly around 13, but... Yeah, you I were. I went outside. I did Allow stuff. I okay. was active. But before I turned, like, like, 12, like, all I ever used the internet for was just to watch shit. Like, get on fucking dumb anime sites and watch anime. 
Amine. That was all I did on the internet, really. And, then and YouTube Let's Play bullshit. And I know, I know you're gonna give me shit for it. Yeah. But that's pretty much all I did, too, until... Honestly, Pornies dropped, and then porn was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Honestly, I'm kind of opposite of you guys. I'm just, honestly, I'm happier with the internet than I was when I didn't. No, I'm definitely happier when I have internet. But what I'm saying is, if I just, if I'd never had the internet, I would probably be a happy person. I don't think I would be. Because I mean, on my end, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting to think about. You know what, what we should do one of these days? We should get rid of all of our electronics. No. Just become Amish? No, yes. no, no. Become no. Amish now. Right like, now. Like, uh, try and survive a week no. without internet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> you guys can do it. I'm fine. <laughs> Let's see how long each of us lasts. <laughs> There's only one Don't thing in the, uh, with connect with the internet the in a building full of no internet. Did I tell you about the Gundam, how it has, like, fucking space Amish? There's oh. just a space colony where they're just, like, old western dudes. We can't use technology. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Oh. Fucking Sh Char was a space Amish <laughs> growing up. Char and then he bashes some dude's face in with a wooden plank. It's fucking crazy. Yes, Char. He's fucking cool, dude. It's it's all good. Problem problem solved, kind of. Okay, back to space Amish people. Yeah, space Amish. I kind of ran out of things to talk about that. Space Amish. Uh, I'm still. I still can't get over the fucking. The, the, the fucking Neo-Mexico shit. That's my favorite thing in the world. Oh, dude. The fucking, <laughs> like, the fucking, uh, Viking, like, Swedish fucking yeah. Gundam is a windmill. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. What show is that? G Gundam. G Gundam. I still want to watch that. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Fucking Neo Mexico. It's just a sombrero floating in space. <laughs> this robot has a fucking sombrero and a mustache, and it has like a poncho on and shit. Yeah, no. Oh. Let me let me let me pull up some of the fucking G Gundam bullshit. Yeah. There's the fucking African one. Oh, he's got I mean, that fucking... doesn't look too bad. It's not too bad, but it's, it's, you know. Yeah. The fucking Neo-Mexico. Oh, God. That is Neo-Mexico. It's a fucking sombrero. In space. In space. Fuck, that's racist. It's hilarious. It's amazing. <laughs> You haven't even seen their Gundam. Racism is funny. I haven't really watched <laughs> any Gundams. It's... Yeah, there we go. He's got a fucking mustache and a sombrero. <laughs> Y'all going to hell. Oh, it's fucking amazing. No, it's Japan. They can't be racist. Mm -hmm. Well, Japan's racism is more ignorance than it is racism. Like Punch Out is fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. No. Flamingo? Okay. Yeah. No, the French one is super cool though. Mm -hmm. This is Napoleon. Yeah, French French Gundam is just Napoleon. That's the coolest. And those that fucking shoulder cape lifts up and rockets shoot out. Mm -hmm. It's fucking sweet. You know, the internet really is a fucking diverse place. Yeah. Uh, there, I read. There is a theory that this Jack Skellington is Jack from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, fan theories are weird. Uh huh. And it's connected via James and the Giant Peach. I don't understand that, but alright. Because they used Jack Skellington's model in the pirate ship, in the sunken pirate ship. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Do they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hmm. Our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. And it was all he was fighting everyone over a compass. And what does Jack, the pirate, always have to fight everyone over? A compass. 
Yeah, I guess. I've never seen any of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, actually. They're fun. How the I fuck bet. have you not? I, I've seen bits and pieces. That's... The new, uh, the last two are fucking not great. Yeah, I think. Although the most recent one is better than the fourth one. I don't think so. I disagree with that. <laughs> Oh fuck I you, think bitch. The, I think the newest one's the worst. Is it because they killed Barbosa? No, I love Barbosa. Spoilers. Well, fuck your spoilers. Spoiler. I haven't seen it. Any of them. Well, you obviously you stated to? you don't care. No, I didn't state I don't Watch care. The I first just said three I haven't never ever gotten around to it. Yeah, fair enough. I'm going to continue watching them and because Davy yeah. Jones is the coolest. Yeah, he's the fucking. They're gonna be bringing he, Davy Jones back. He's the Cthulhu-looking face yes. guy, right? He's got Davy the tentacle Jones. mouth. He's the tentacle porn That's guy. That's awesome. Uh, they're bringing Davy Jones back for the next one. What, why I didn't even know they were them? making another one. Stop. I swear one gets, like, made, and then at the end of that movie they announce a new one. It's what yeah, it seems that's like. That's what they did to the last one, wasn't it? I don't know. Because they showed Davy Jones getting all pissy because Will's no longer doing his job. I didn't even see David Jones in the last Watch to the end of the credits. I oh, they're doing did. their post-credits. Yeah. I fucking hate that so much. God damn it. Post-credits! Man, I'm it. glad that Marvel oh, does oh, theirs, oh. like, in between. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Corn dogs. Yeah, no, whenever I went to see Ant-Man, like, as I was getting, like... Oh, like, are we talking Ant-Man and the Wasp, or... Yeah, yeah, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Like, I, it, I just that remember good? that you watched Yeah, it was alright. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, have you seen the first one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you fucks didn't it was, it? was one of... Uh, well, I went with somebody. He, yeah, he went yeah. with one of his friends. Yeah. Um... Like... Okay, so I'm just gonna go I was on. sitting through the credits, and I was go like... Ahead, go just, straight to Oogie. It, it felt like it was taking forever, and I was like, I don't care that much about the post credit scene. Because it's like, it's the, it's just the first credits thing before it goes into the black crawl thing. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to wait until after that, but then, but then it happened, and I'm like, oh shit, it's not all the way at the end. I appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciation. <clears throat> On that aside, though, I kind of feel sorry for the Marvel Keep actors. Because they're at Disney's back in college. I, I mean, guess. they're in a good series. Yeah. People still no, enjoy. I, I, no. I won't deny you that, but... At least they're, they're not in Star Wars. <laughs> I love how... I, I, Disney is basically all the, all the MCU actors under strict regimens. They, they literally control what they eat. Well, they... I mean, yeah, yeah that makes sense. And it's if like, what if Chris Pratt ad, wants to play? If someone offers them an ad, they have to take it. Well, what were you gonna say about Chris Pratt? It's like if he wants to take like, a, Zero, not Chris Pratt. Chris Sally Pratt probably could do other stuff because he's only like, yeah, he's only a Guardians. So that's not yeah, as big as say like Captain Mar Captain yeah. America. I and they can talk. never be in DC. Okay, you say that, but Lawrence Fishburne was in Ant Man, and it was weird. Cause I'm like, he's Lawrence. also that reporter guy in the Superman no, no. movie. The, the MCU actors can't the, be official. You know, like like the heroes, they cannot be in the, any of the DC. Jack, I have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you yeah. try something else? That yeah, that sounds about right. But I feel like there's there's been somebody uh, through contract they cannot be in any I mean, I don't know if any of them would want to be. Yeah, in see, that's films. the thing. <laughs> oh, I feel like the DC. <laughs> like, that's better. what I was wanting to say about Lawrence Fishburne. It feels like he was in those two Superman movies, and he's like, "Yeah, Marvel's got a pretty sick thing going on." I'll yeah. fuck, fuck this. Yeah. Although I do want to see Ben Affleck direct a Batman movie. That would be no. sweet. Is he doing that? He was supposed to be. Ooh, but he but... keeps. Shit, shit keeps happening with it. But um, it was confirmed that they're going to be doing a Joker film, a standalone film. I know, and, and I dread it. And Jared Leto is not connected to it at all. See, okay, the thing it's, with that, it, it's Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, which okay. I 
which makes me very optimistic about it. That is it. Because I love, because I fucking love Joaquin Phoenix. I'm still gonna be skeptical about. Anything. I mean, yeah, be skeptical, skeptical about it because it's still the same company. It's fucking, it's fucking, it's it's a DC film, yeah. whatever. But still, it it's, I I think Joaquin could be could do a a good Joker. I didn't have a whole bunch of hope that that Jared Leto's Joker would be that interesting. Okay, the thing with DC, I feel like the issue is that they're trying to rush the whole yes. cinematic universe. Yeah. Their, I mean, their biggest mistake in the first place was getting Zack Snyder to push into this. See, I haven't seen a lot of his movies, but it, like, isn't three three hundred and Watchmen aren't those supposed to be pretty good? I'm, uh, the 300 is really good. Uh, the Watchmen was kind of mixed. I mean, I mean that one. The, the I will definitely say version. form your own opinion. The the ultimate edition, the the director's cut, is significantly yeah. better than the theatrical version. That uh, it's it's one of my favorite movies. But um, that aside, after it that, is definitely a form your own opinion. Movie. I mean, I mean, Sucker Punch was a fun film. Oh yeah, he did do that. Yeah, that was I didn't a, that was a really fun that film. Yeah, I, I mean, watched I'm not, like half of it with yeah. my mom, and then I left. I'm I'm not gonna say that it's like a great movie, but it's it, it was just a fun watch. It had really good action scenes in it. And shit. It had that sweet cover, of sweet dreams. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, and then I don't know. Man of Steel was kind of half and half. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was as awful as everyone yeah. said it was, but I don't think it's really that great. It's, I mean, it's a superhero movie. Yeah, it, it had some ups and downs, and then Batman v Superman was just a fucking mess. It's just that... I th Batman I think... branding people is weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, actually, I, I'm fine with Batman with, like... With Ben Affleck playing old man Batman, who yeah. is just like super but he's jaded, not old. and he's just like, if somebody dies, whatever. I'm not yeah. shooting him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because that's basically what old man Batman is. is. Yeah, he's just, he's fucking great. But um, but it's just, I was about to say something. Fuck. Yeah. Made me lose my my track of mind. Yeah. Fuck, bruh. Um... It was, uh... Ah! Uh, uh, I can't remember! Oh, quit trying to remember and get on a different tangent. No. Yes. I have to remember. Yeah. I have to talk about stupid movies. No, no. I think, I really, honestly think we should be diverging away from the topic of DC and Marvel. Okay. Anyway, Why? but speaking of superhero movies, you know what could probably be pretty sick? What? My Hero movie. Yeah? Because they're yeah. doing that. Oh, are they? Yeah. I figured, but... Dude, I, that, yeah. that, that artwork with, with, the, with the hero <sighs> character that's just literally Godzilla? Yeah. That's no, I mean, a li I, mean, I mean live action. Because, I mean, uh... live action. I don't know if it'd be great... But, like, yeah. Japan has been, like, making a lot of live-action movies that are pretty anime, decent. Like, that aren't even that old. Like, Ajin pretty... got a movie. Like, yeah, that the year decent. the anime came out. Like, that are decent? Sorry, I haven't seen the Ajin movie, so I'm not so entirely out. certain. Yeah. It looked like it'd be pretty sweet, though. Uh, I mean, what you showed me of the of the Rurouni Kenshin one. The Rurouni Kenshin movies are really fucking good. Yeah, what you showed me of that, it did look really good. Like, those movies are pretty great. Ugh. Fucking, uh, I'm trying to think what else there's been. Uh, I think Tokyo Ghoul is getting a movie. I don't care about Tokyo Ghoul. I though. kind of I... care about Tokyo Ghoul. I Attack watched Titan, halfway got a movie. the series and then I completely lost. Interest. I read the first volume of the manga and then once people started fighting and it got really shonen esque, I kind of gave up. Oh, like, th hey. this season they did a personality split. Yeah, I. With Kaneki. I. Uh, Kaneki. And I didn't I even know they were continuing it. Yeah, uh, he's got white and black hair now. Oh really? Character progression. That's weird. Yeah. 
Now he's just death to kid. Yeah, no, um... No, Death I, the Kid was a much better character. I read the first volume <laughs> of the manga, and I was like, eh. Okay, okay, I shouldn't say that, because I actually liked what they did with Konami this season. And then, yeah. my friend, he showed me one of the later fights, and he's, like, got some weird red sexual energy tails or whatever. Sweet. That's because he and, was literally eating nothing but goals. And I, I was like, but, and now they're fighting, and it's, like, in really... Insane looking, and I'm like, eh, I don't. Yeah. I liked it whenever it was. The first season was up to the point where he had his mental snap. The second season yeah. was them dealing with his mental break, because... and going full on cannibal, cannibal. Okay. I mean, but the re the reason that you and I, uh, were like, were like so hyped on Ajin is because he had this, he had this like super, like this super serious character flip. Yeah. Where he just suddenly just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna go live in the country with this old lady. Because yeah. I don't fucking care okay. anymore. The way everybody talked about Ajin to me and what it was. Yeah. That's what... Or, am I, say, I didn't mean Ajin. The way everybody talked to me about Tokyo Ghoul and told me about what it was. Yeah. What I... I was under the assumption it was what Ajin turned out to be. Of just some dude who, who finds out that he's this fucking thing. And yeah. everybody is after him and he's just kind of on the run about it. No, no, no. Like for through for the first through the first half of the first season, it's it's the character being like, oh, I don't want to do this, you know, that whole yeah. Ajin thing. Where it's like, I just want to be a good person, and then it reaches like the halfway mark, and then he gets super fucked up, and then he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna go fucking I'm gonna go fucking insane and join the bad guys now, and I'm gonna kill people and eat ghouls. Yeah. Like, he, he, t he literally does an Ajin character flip. Does he? Yes. yes. And then at the end Like of a full... A full 360. And then at the end of season two... ...dies, and he turns himself in to the police. Literally tears in his eyes. And then he get, forms a split personality for the third season. Are we saying too much? I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Because, I mean, I'm not going to watch it, so I don't care. Yeah. Because... If necessary, I'll, I'll, blur, I'm I'll bleep go that out or whatever. That it was like... Died. I, I want to assume that, that is why he had a personality split. Mm -hmm. And throughout the entirety of season three, Kaneki is just basically going like, well, the personality split of him, which is Hasui or something like that. He's like, I don't want to disappear. I want to stay. I want to take over. I don't want to die. While Kaneki is depicted as a fucking child in his head. Like, and then are you gonna protect me? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna keep me alive? Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know anything. And then by the end of it all Hasui is I can't fight like you can. I can't do this. So he gives in and disappears to become Kaneki again. So we could kill all these fuckers that are interrupting the normal family life that he has with the police. Like Ajin. <laughs> like what? Like Ajin. Yeah, I guess. He has like the normal family life, and he's just like, I just wanna, I just wanna live with grandma. I just wanna live with grandma and Except grow radishes. This, this family and grow radishes. <laughs> no, fucking. Okay, I, th I, I, I've talked about this with you before, but Ajin's original author ditching and going to do his own thing that he apparently was not very good. What did he do? He did some weird like. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like this. I don't know. I don't know. It 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 just look. Main character's got a cool mask. That's all I have yeah. to say. A lot of like hell. Pull it up. Pull it but, up. But, but but. And I didn't even tell all the interesting bits about this season's Tokyo Ghoul, so you're good. I didn't plan on watching it. Yeah, though. I have. Oh, no, no, I'm just I, saying I, that I, for the recording. Yes, Jack. Yes, continue. Keep doing it, Jack. Yes, Jack. 
Yes. Oh yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Doing Screen great freestyling. 